One day, a little boy had a birthday. He got many birthday presents. One of his presents was a long box. He carefully opened the lid of the box and clapped his hands with delight. Oh boy, ten soldiers! I have twenty-five soldiers. I like them. He took them out of the box and placed them one by one on a table. Oh, this soldier only has one leg. How can it stand with only one leg? But the soldier stood firmly on his single leg. When there was no one in the room, the tin soldier with one leg looked all around. Then he saw a beautiful little dancer standing by the door of the castle. What a beautiful dancer she is! She wore a pink dress and had a shiny tinsel rose in her hair. She is the one I want to marry, but she lives in a castle. I live in a box with the other soldiers. That is no place for such a beautiful lady, and I have only one leg. She would never marry me. In the evening, the boy came into the room. The boy put all of the soldiers into the box, but he put the tin soldier with one leg beside the box. You brave soldier! Stay here and watch out for the enemy. Woohoo! All of the people went to bed. It is our playtime. Then all of the toys in the room began to play, but the soldier and the dancer remained in their places. The tin soldier could not stop looking at her. The toys were not careful as they played. They knocked the lid off a small box. A little black goblin jumped out of the box. Tin soldier, I know what you have in mind. Don't wish for what you cannot have. The little lady can never be yours. The tin soldier pretended not to hear the goblin. Hey, tin soldier, look at me when I talk to you. But the tin soldier ignored the goblin and didn't say a word. The next morning, the boy's friends came to play with the soldiers. Look at this soldier! It only has one leg. You just wait here and take a rest. And he placed him on the window sill, but the tin soldier fell out of the window. Where is the tin soldier? I cannot find him. The boy searched and searched for the tin soldier, but couldn't find him. I'll cry out so they can find me. But he changed his mind because he was too proud to ask for help while wearing his uniform. The rain began to fall. At first, it was gentle. But soon the rain became very heavy, and hurt the tin soldier. Two boys passed by. Hey, look! It's a tin soldier. He should have a boat to ride in. Let's make a boat out of newspaper for him. The boys put the soldier in the boat and placed the boat in a gutter. Then they went home. The rain got heavier. And the waves became so high that the tin soldier trembled. Oh, it is so cold! But I am a soldier. I must stay strong. Soon he saw a bridge ahead. At last, a safe place. But he found that the bridge was actually a drain. Oh my! This drain is very dark. Where am I going? If the little lady were with me, I wouldn't care where I was going. Suddenly, a giant rat appeared. Where is your passport? Show it to me at once. 
The tin soldier didn't answer and held his rifle tightly. The rat followed the boat as it floated down the drain. Stop him! He did not pay the toll yet! But the waves were so fast that the rat could not catch up with him. Soon, the soldier came to the end of the drain. Oh no! The boat fell into the river. Water filled the boat, and the paper became wet and soggy. As the water closed above the tin soldier's head, he thought of the elegant little dancer. Oh, is this the end of my life? Won't I see her any more? Will she feel sad about my death? Maybe she won't. We never did talk to each other. Still, I wish I could see her again before I die. Suddenly, a great fish appeared and swallowed him up. Am I still alive? It's so dark in here. Soon, the fish was caught, taken to the market, and sold to a cook. The cook lived in the boy's house. Oh, look! Here is a tin soldier! I found it! She took... Aw, oh, thank you! I thought it was gone forever! The boy was so pleased to see the soldier again. But there was one who was not happy with the soldier's return. Hmm, <laughs> he came back. I don't really like him because he never listened to me. He looked down on me. That's why I made him fall off the windowsill. <laughs> he got wet. He must be very cold. The boy placed the tin soldier near the side of the fireplace. The soldier was so delighted because now he could see the dancer again. Look, there she is. She is still in this room. He nearly cried when he saw the dancer again. She looked at the soldier, too. She did not say anything. But the tin soldier noticed that she had tears in her eyes and a smile on her face. Yes. She must like me, too. I knew it! I knew it! The tin soldier was so pleased that he did not notice the goblin approaching him from behind. The goblin tried to push him into the fireplace. She was so frightened that she could not say anything. Suddenly, the window flew open. Without a second thought, she jumped off the table. As she fell, she saw the goblin push the tin soldier into the fire. Oh, no! The flames lit up around the tin soldier. The heat was so terrible. Tin melts easily. So, the soldier began to melt quickly. The dancer began to weep as she fell. The little dancer landed in the fire next to the tin soldier. The soldier could not see or say anything, but he felt the little dancer right next to him. Then she was no longer there. The next morning, the maid cleaned the ashes out of the fireplace. What is this? It's a heart-shaped piece of tin. Oh, it has a tinsel rose design on it, too. How beautiful!